In the previous video in this series, you learned how uniform, periodic, and Gaussian jitter affect a simple channel. Now in this video, you'll learn how custom transmit jitter and duty cycle distortion affect the simple channel. Use the differential eye source to specify distortion and custom jitter parameters. For custom jitter, specify a probability density function using a data file for both quick eye and verify. The data file contains the relative values for the probability. The circuit solver normalizes the values in the data file to generate the probability density function. For example, use values that generate an asymmetric ramp function for the probability density function. The TXCJ parameter on the I source identifies the data file. Solve the design and view the results for custom jitter. On the quick eye eye diagram, the histogram shows the asymmetric jitter distribution. The bathtub curve is asymmetric. Finally, add some duty cycle distortion. Duty cycle distortion adds its parameter value to the even bits and subtracts it from the odd bits, creating bit states with two different durations. There are two ways to specify the duty cycle distortion. By default, DCD is specified as a fraction of the unit interval. Create a local variable for DCD val and assign a nominal value of 0 0.1. Alternatively, you can specify DCD as an absolute time. Analyze the design and view the results. The Verify Bathtub diagram shows the channel bit error rate, BER, with duty cycle distortion. The eye diagram shows how the duty cycle distortion affects the unit interval with the alternate set of crossing points at different times. Here you see the eye diagrams and bathtub curves for the channel with no jitter and with five different types of jitter and distortion. This concludes this video series on how to perform signal integrity analyses after constructing and setting up a simple communications channel.